Well, we were doing some regular training, bite work, and my dog Roy snapped one of his canine teeth on the bite suit, and uh, we had to come here since our base doesn't have a vet. The key pieces that we're concerned about are anesthesia. Uh, obviously, we can't just do that procedure with a dog awake or even slightly sedated because of the risk. It's always nerve-wracking watching him go down like that. He's usually so full of energy and jumping and moving around and wanting to play all the time. So when he's just limp and not moving, it takes those long pauses between breathing. The chest takes forever to rise. You know, you kind of stop breathing when he does. And that's something that we look for both in our canine patients and also in our human patients as far as respiratory capability. In the States, I would have the proper equipment to perform a root canal and to perform dental radiographs on Roy. Here, I did not have the proper facilities and equipment, so I collaborated with the medical treatment facility. We actually had a really good collaboration. I was very grateful for the team that we had. I had spoken the last two days before with the dentist and his dental team, and we had kind of discussed how it was going to go with Roy. In the case of Roy, we used a composite restoration, which is a tooth colored filling. And basically what we do there is we do an acid etch on the tooth. And we use a mild acid to clean the surface, make sure it's nice and clean. And then we put a bonding material down and then put the filling material in there, shape that, cure it with a high intensity visible light. And then we finish the shaping with some of the instruments that we have and check the bite and make sure it's correct. It's a lot of fun to work on the canines. The other thing is it's definitely a very direct impact that you have on the mission, being able to return a dog back to service.